In this video, we're going to go ahead and get rid of some faces that aren't really going to be visible in game, so there's no reason for them to exist. And we're also going to make a small adjustment to the edges near the edge of the curve here to hide part of the body from visibility because part of the body is also going to be deleted in, because there's no reason for the body polygons underneath the clothing model to be showing. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Let's delete some faces first. We'll come in here and I'm going to right click, go to face while mousing over the body. Now I have soft selection still turned on, which we don't need anymore. So you can hit W on your keyboard to go into your move settings. And I'm going to drop down the soft selection and I'm going to disable that because we don't need that. We can leave symmetry turned on so that way we can only have to select one side. Now I'm going to come down ever so many faces, I don't know, about three or four. So I'm going to come down about four faces. Now I'm on the inside of the model. I'm on the inside. I'm going to select one. I'm going to select another. Then I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to double click a face directly next to the last face I selected. And you see it'll select them all the way around. Now I'm just going to hit delete on my keyboard and that's going to delete those faces. Right now we're going to go down to the bottom and we're going to do pretty much the same thing. We're going to count up ever so far, maybe just three on the bottom. I'll select this one here, then I'll select another one, then I'll hold down shift and I'll double click the next one and it'll select them all the way around. And then I'll just hit delete on the keyboard and that'll get rid of all that. Now, because I have separated the bottom and the top, these are free floating. They're not connected to the outside. So I can double click any one of them and it'll just select all the ones on the inside. So now I can get rid of these as well. I'll just hit delete on the keyboard. So now those faces are gone because you wouldn't be able to see them in game. You know, there's, there's no way for anyone to see those because no matter how you were to position your camera in game, those faces would not be visible. For, so there's no reason for them to exist. Another thing we want to do is we want to make it so if people kind of angle their camera up and try to look down the corset, <laughs> they won't be able to see that the body has been deleted underneath the corset. So we need to set something up for that. So we're going to right click, <laughs> go to vertex, and we're going to come down to this bottom edge here. Now I'm on the inside. Now right here where I've deleted it, around the border, I'm going to select one of them, then I'm going to hold down my shift key and double click the one next to it, right? And I'm making sure I'm highlighting them. You can see that it's highlighted by mousing near it. And with all these selected, I'm going to hit the R key and that's going to put us into scale mode. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use this middle scale tool. See it? Right there, there's one in the middle. So you have your you have your X, Y, and your Z going around it. The one we want is the one in the middle. We're just going to click on that, hold down, and we're going to move the mouse so they're coming inward. Right? We're going to make them clip inside the body. So that way, whenever people try to look down, they won't be able to see down because these faces will block their view. So we can delete the faces on the bottom that are inside here that are being hidden by this row of polygons. We're going to do the same thing at the bottom. We're going to hide the body with a row of polygons. So we're going to come from this one right here and then I'm going to hold down shift and double click, go all the way around. So that way I have them all and I have the scale tool selected. I'm going to scale the middle one and bring them all in until they're all clipping the body. Okay. Now one thing you can see right here, I just noticed is that I'm kind of clipping the body right here. So if while you're doing this, you notice something like this, go ahead and fix it. I'm going to go ahead and fix this and you should know how to do it. You just press W, select one, then select the one on the outside, use your soft selection. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and skip the page and just fix these real quick. And we're back. And now, as you can see, I've fixed any clipping that I had and I made sure that my ring of polygons is clipping the body. Turn my soft selection back off. And this looks good, so now I don't have to worry about people being able to see that we're deleting faces from the body underneath the clothing. So last thing we're going to do in this particular video is we're going to run a mesh cleanup. You should always do this whenever you're developing. Once you've gotten to a certain point and you're done with the modeling portion, you're saying, okay, now I'm about to UV map it or whatever. You should always run a model cleanup. So what I do is I come up with the mesh selected. I'm going to go up to Mesh go down and you'll see optimize you'll see a cleanup option go ahead and select cleanup 
we're going to do is we're going to set this operation to select matching polygons. Don't have it set to clean up matching polygons because then it will automatically fix the errors for you. And sometimes you don't want it to fix the error. You might want to fix it yourself. Look at, you know, this way it'll select what's wrong and you can take a look at it before you tell it to clean it up. Okay. So I'm going to uncheck everything. If anything's checked, uncheck these. We're going to come down here first. We're going to select lamina faces, non-manifold geometry, and edges with zero length. Okay. And then click apply. All right. If it doesn't select anything and it gets diselected, that means these issues do not exist. I'll select it again. I'll uncheck those three. Don't worry about these two. I usually never check faces with zero geometry. You could check that one if you want. I usually don't. <laughs> and faces with zero map area. Don't worry about that one because that probably will select something. And the next thing I'll go ahead and check. Don't worry about four-sided faces because naturally they're all four-sided faces. All right. So that's not an error. That's our geometry. Faces with more than four sides are called ingons. Games do not like ingons. Ingons are bad. You only want quads and tries. Actually, in games, you only want tries. But faces more four sides. Go ahead and check that one and then click apply. Select the model again. I didn't have any ingons. I'll select concave faces. Select this and then I'll click apply. Nothing came up. So it doesn't it means I have no concave faces and faces with holes. I'll select the model. Click apply and no faces with holes got selected. If any of these errors come up and you have an error, you'll have to probably, because you might not know what, what a con, you may not even know what a concave face is. I don't know how experienced you are. Just have, just tell Maya to clean it up. You know, you select it, select the model and click apply again. And, um, Maya will clean it up for you, which I don't have any. I already know I don't. So you know, now that it's clean and we know this model is good, in the next video, we'll go ahead and set up our UV map. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post below the video and click subscribe to follow us on YouTube.